Okay, I'll just say the first name begins with M and I'll say no more than that. So I'm playing the, I'm playing the transit cop and uh, in this scene, basically, it was actually two or two um, um, big, uh, you know, Hollywood actors. Yeah. And I pay, I'm, I'm playing the transit cop, I'm in the other carriage and I see these two characters, basically one's being held up at gunpoint and the other dude's sitting down. And so my whole thing is I open up the door, go to the next carriage, there's everybody down on the floor now, move, move, move. So, um, and then what happens is the, one of the, the characters, he throws a ho whole lot of money in the air to create a distraction. So, you know, he's obviously his path, he's, he's, he's obviously he's messed up. So I'm running, I'm trying to get through, I'm trying to get through. So we shoot the, you know, the, the, the couple shots and then it gets to a single now on this particular character and uh, this actor. And um, so I'm here, AD's over here. Sorry, excuse me, AD's over here. I'm here waiting for him to grab. Once I get the go away from him, I'm going straight in. So I'm there, there, there. Go! Everybody down on the floor now, move, move! All of a sudden, dude says to me, calm down, man. <laughs> in the building. The man that needs no introduction. No introduction at all, you the know. The girl them sugar. The girl them sugar. The, the silver man. fox them. The, the fox them, the man them. <laughs> did you, do you know a little thing called Dream Team, man? Dream Team, bruv. Do you know a thing called, 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 born ultimatum? Ooh. Oh, uh, hey, you want to hit that Dark Knight, fam? Oh, Dark Knight? Yeah. Was that you doing? Well, dark you, Knight? You have the Dark Knight? What, what, casualty, yeah. Casualty? What? Oh, EastEnders? Oh, my days. What, Strictly Come Dancing? Oh, yeah. my God. Man Doctors and that. <laughs> Doctors. <laughs> bro, <laughs> they, nah, you know what? There's so many, on. fam. Into the, the building. building. Oh, there's bear, there's bear, there's bear. I'm not going to say too much, fam. Little thing, thing. Little thing, thing. Thank you very much. Shut up. Then, man. Welcome, welcome. God bless you. Bless you, bless you, King. That's a hell of an intro, man. I can't even argue. That That was a hell of an intro. Yeah, man. I could go home right now. I can't even lie. That's. Yeah, I, I grabbed my coat, like, <laughs> done the job well, for thank me. Thank you for coming, my bro. Thank you for inviting me, man. Thanks thank you for having me. Bro. This is amazing, amazing. Yes, all right. Spot, Look, man. This is what I want to say, and I want to get right into the story of how one of the, like, the best memories I have of you, innit? Yeah. Let me hear this. I know. Let me hear this shit. <laughs> no, all right. <laughs> so, let's just rewind back, I don't know, a few years back, back in my, uh, uh, my younger days. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's there. So we was at one of the Triforce events here, now. We was at one of the Triforce events and there was like, ah. I was with two other guys, right? And they were trying to talk to these two girls. Now these two girls, they were trying to go back to the house, right? With my friends, yeah? And then they weren't really having it. And then Chucky's walking on the road, yeah? And then they was like, oh my God, oh my God, Chucky. Ah, da, 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 da. Can I get, if you guys can get us a picture, we'll come back with you, yeah? So I remember I came over to you. <laughs> so did them. <laughs> oh, I was like, hey, yeah, brother, listen. <laughs> If you can come down and take a picture of these lovely ladies, they're like big fans of yours. And you came down, you showed so much love, you took pictures, and the night was history, innit? Uh, yeah. Yeah, bro. So I appreciate you. I've always wanted to thank you for that moment. <laughs> I feel like you've been a fan. I'm glad to have helped. I'm glad to have helped. But no, I just want to thank you for the man in the minute on behalf of the man. <laughs> the minute. Minute. I'm, I'm glad to have helped, man. Great Damn. <laughs> That's really inadvertent assist player. right there. You know what I mean? Damn, okay, you know, I've Perfect always been a team player. What can I say, man? Thank you. So let's, let's get straight into it, man. Working with people like Heath Ledger, Matt Damon, what is that experience like? What are the gems you picked up? What do you like? Going on to set, the, the, the nerves, the, the thought of, you know what, I'm around these Hollywood superstars, these actors that are just nominated for Oscars, Emmys, all these stuff. Like, how does that feel getting to set? And how do you even prepare yourself for shit like that? It's weird when it comes to working with our, uh, well, A-list, you know, Hollywood yeah. stars, man, yeah. you know, as, as such, because, uh, you know, on one hand, I, I, uh, I manifested all of that, you know what I mean? You know, from when back in the streets of, of Mozart and Kilburn Lane, you know what I mean, with the man them, from uh, ends and that. Ends, ends and that, man. Don't Come on, it. man. Straight. You can never forget that. You know what I mean? That's where we came from. You know, those yeah, are the yeah, yeah. humble beginnings. And when the situation came about, and I was blessed to have been, you know, uh, given these roles. Yes, there was a party that says, okay, I'm, this is just part of the process. But when you take away the gas element, oh my God, okay, okay, my God, I'm really here with these guys and I'm really doing this. You then start looking at it from the actor's perspective. Yes. You know what I mean? And what can I, you know, what parts of their skills and craft can I take and add to my artillery, you know what I mean? So, you know, uh, working with uh, Heath was surreal, man, because, um, you know, he was just a consummate professional. Lovely dude, 
really affable, you know what I mean, engaging guy. I Did remember we stay on character or like. Yeah, we well, this is the mad thing, that, man, because you know when we were, you know, offset. Like I said, cool dude. Yeah. Once on set. Yeah. When in costume. Yeah. Character, you couldn't really? talk to him, couldn't but, speak to him, you know. couldn't speak to him. He was just the Joker. The Joker. Hundred percent, man. You know what I mean. Uh, Matt Damon, he was really just a lovely, once again, affable dude, you know, mm. very, very humble, very appreciative of everything that he had to that point. And, um, you know, he was just telling me about how he got in the business and, and uh, you know, the turning point, uh, you know, being Goodwill Hunting, you know, that yes. he worked with Ben Affleck, mm. you know what I mean? I learned a lot from them about the importance of focus on the work, focus yeah. on the work and everything else. That will come. Follows. Yeah, yeah, it follows, man. You know what I mean? I fame is a by fame is fleeting. It's, I mean, mm. that, that comes and goes. I would say it's, it's great to know those, those lessons there for them guys, but once you've done like a, a Hollywood film where you're in that kind of lifestyle, is there anything that you feel happened to you or, you know what, got big for your boots or went into a certain Illuminati, lane. they approach you. I'm joking, 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 I'm joking
you know, blossoming world of, of television and glam and glitz. That I, I do love, and it was everything I hoped it was going to be. But I love New York, New mm. York, because it has that kind of gritty, real, you know oh, what I mean? Yeah. It's, like, it's like London on steroids. And I deliberately made sure I was letting the man they know how we chat, how we yeah, get yeah, chat. Yeah, 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 you know, you switch it, you're like, yeah. And they were like that. Yeah, wow, yeah, wow, yeah. This, that's how y'all talk, man? Oh, yeah. damn, it's crazy, yo, man. It yeah, was like, yo, yeah, so, proper, proper so yeah, I love both sides, you know what I'm What's saying? your experience with doing American accent, like? It's did you bad. struggle in the, big, in the beginning or did you find yourself yeah, getting course. better? You find Absolutely, yourself? yeah, yeah. It was, you know, it's, it's a, you know, the American accent is a funny thing and it's one of those mm. ones where you have to keep at it. Personally, 100%. for myself. Yeah, Same. Yeah. You can't, unless you're there. If you're there regularly yeah. and you're hearing it regular, then of course, your cadence just acclimates that. You ever mess up in an audition? With him? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 What's your yeah, worst audition? Man. What's your worst audition? <laughs> <laughs> what audition? What's like, your what worst one, music? Fuck. Damn. Yeah, because I had a few where I called my agent. I was like, I didn't, I didn't bag that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, I didn't bag that. I was vexed, bro. Block him, block him, block him. I was vexed. Everyone you know what? There was one audition, man. I must admit, man. I mean, I was not the right. It was terrible casting for the most part anyway. But mm. it was, I remember it was for, a, uh, uh, for The Flash. And I was meant to play oh, the, the, uh, like a fatherly like kind of figure. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. 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 And, um, Man, I was wrong for it anyway. Yeah. I was like, at least 10 years <laughs> younger than this cat. I went right for it, man. And I just remember the accent was just off wacky. Well, yeah. It went right. And I just remember the, the cast directors went, <laughs> okay, mm-hmm. uh-huh. thank you. Okay. And literally, <laughs> I, 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 yo, okay. <laughs> literally, yeah, yeah. I had to hold my agent and say, sorry, that, that, that didn't go. <laughs> so that you had to let them know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, not I'm the same way, bro. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. I, I remember yeah. after one audition, I came out because it was for something that Seth Rogen wrote. And he was directing it as well. And I knew man was perfect for this thing. I'm in my room, banging out the lines. I know everything, I'm word for word. Bam, bam. I go into the room, reading it now, boom. Doing it. Halfway through, I forgot it. I was like, shit. <laughs> like, what? I know this. They're like, ah, oh, let's go again. They're loving it as well. I go again, boom, delivering, delivering. I go blank. They're like, you know what? You can use the sides. You can use the sides. I'm like, but I know this. Mm. Anyway, I pick up the sides begrudgingly. And you know, it's just, it's not there. Oh God, you mean. It's, it's not there in you, innit? I left that room, yeah? Sat down. And this is like in, um, was it, was it Paramount or something? They've got like Sidney Poitier's pictures in there. Like, wow. It's in L- obviously in LA, innit? Yeah. So yeah. I'm just looking at all these great black actors and stuff. I walk out, like, I'm a fucking failure, bruv. <laughs> call, call my manager, like, yeah, we, did, we didn't get that one. <laughs> we yeah, didn't we, get yeah, that we, one. Yeah, that, but, yeah, we did. That kind that of segues me onto a thing like, hmm. for you, yeah? Break down, I think we'll do the lowest point first. What's been the lowest point in your career you thought, you're like, you know what? A fucking hit rock button. This is just fucked. And then describe to us that highest point in your career. You're like, you know what? Yeah, I'm flying right now. I'd say the lowest point for me was maybe very early in my career. Um, and it was on Dream Team, funny enough. Um, I, uh, so I auditioned for this uh, for a character in it. And... Um, it went well. Yeah. Two days later, I get a call from the cast director, Jill Trevillage. And, um, and I remember I was in, on Rathbone Street, West End. Yep. And she goes it. to me, Chucky, they really, really loved you. They loved you. And, you know, and literally, they're very close to making the decision. She told me how much I was going to, you know, what the, 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 the fee was, da, da, da. And I'm thinking, man, oh, I got this in the bag, you know. Yeah. It's written, you know what I mean? I've manifested this. It's just, just you know, it's happening. Ten minutes later, she hits me back and she says, Chucky, I'm really sorry, but it didn't go your way. Fuck. It didn't go your way, man. I was like, what? You know, they decided to go for a di- different direction, but I'm like, man, what? But, but, I don't understand it. Yeah. You just said this is this yeah, mine, yeah. it's mine. I'm really sorry. I'm literally, no word of a lie, I wanted to pack it in there. Mm. I wanted to pack it in there. This was like going to be the, the biggest thing to date at that point, because when I finished studies, it was like three years before I kind of got this kind of, Where did you, of, you study? Know. I actually studied at college, brother. I studied okay. college. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I studied uh, so how did you tr- performing ah. arts. But you know what, okay. man? I remember Mike Tyson saying, he said something once, really interesting. He said, I don't believe in talent. I believe if you're really hungry and determined for something and you show that you want it more than the other, or your potential contemporary, or your rival, that's what determines whether, you know, whether or not how successful you can potentially be in any, any you know, job or field you want to be involved in. And a week went by, licked my wounds, and I said, you know, man, of course I'm not done with this, man. I love this too much. Yeah. I know <laughs> I can do something in this. And then lo and behold, about 
Seven months later, mm -hmm. lo and behold, basically the same people hit me up and told me that, you know, we're really interested in you. And there's another role we'd like you to audition people. for. Wow. Okay. Same cats. Yeah. And I ended up auditioning again and I got the role and they offered me a three year contract on the show, man. So that's how it all kicked off. Nice, man. The highest point for me. Yeah. Woo! I'm going to be real with you, man. And this is, I'm manifesting as we speak. The highest, highest moment ain't come yet. There's still more to go. Yeah. So I want to know, have you ever had like, um, a madness with a cast member or a director. Yeah, there was one time. Um, uh, <laughs> I was actually actually auditioning for. A, it was for this, a short film. I don't know if I should say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got the scoop. Right, it's uncut the bullshit and shit, I, man. Give us the scoop. I, I can. What I can tell you is, well, it was for a video game. I ain't gonna say no more than that. Uh, yeah, say but no um, uh, it was a short film, and I remember the dude, really arrogant, mm. so and so. Mm. Mm. And I just remember when we came in, it was like four or five of us that came in and, um, and, and dude was like, he was eating the sandwiches like this, you know, like that, blah, blah, blah. He goes, okay, cool. Uh -huh. uh, who's up first? Yeah, da, 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 da. Cool, cool. Done his performance. Uh, uh, next. Nah, man, man. Like, we weren't even looking at what we were doing. Like a cattle call. Right? Like cattle call, yeah. exactly. Mm. It's a very good expression. Cattle call. And I remember his energy, I didn't like it. And I mean, like I said, I could feel the... Yeah. The street. Hood energy was kind yeah, of... It was, it, was, it was coming. I wanted to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to bite. And, um, um, and I remember... I, and then, what's it? He said to me, he said... Because um, I was doing... A, I was kind of moving. He said, stop moving. Saying the line, saying the line. I just, I just didn't like the way he was speaking to me. I didn't like yeah. it. I pulled back now. There was a second, a second uh, performance of a sort, second scene. And if I remember correctly, I didn't do it. Because at this point, I didn't care anymore. Okay, feel you. And I remember he said to me, like, um, you're not going to do the second scene? <laughs> and I said, no, I already done it. And I just remember, I literally walked out of the room. I just walked out, like, before the, the guy even said, you know, we're done. Yeah. I walked out. Done. <laughs> and I don't normally do that, you know yeah. what I mean? But at this point, it's like, you know, there's etiquette that comes with it. You feel me? And then and, and the way this cast director was behaving, I, I, I weren't feeling that, you know? I give respect, so I expect it to be given back to me. Feel you. So I, I had a problem with that. So that's probably the, the, yeah, the only time I think I've ever had that kind of issue. Over on set, I've had moments on set where I've, where I have to be like, let me just go and take two minutes because I have to remember who I am, how yeah. I got here. It's not about this guy. It's about the moment and it's, so go away, breathe, go over my work and then come back into the moment. I've definitely had that. Oh man, listen, because you know, it's, it's, a fun, it's a funny game, man, when it or comes to this. even other cast members. Yes. Have I, did I mention that last, I don't know, last Ooh. time, but like when I, I've been on stage, yeah. I won't say what play, but I've been on stage. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> and I remember to the point where someone, like an actor. Oh, what did I say? Yeah. <laughs> say the thing, brother. All right, he forgot his line, right? Yeah. But he always forgot his line. Okay. Yeah, and at a moment he was on stage, He'll forget his line there and his back to, his, to the audience and then he'll point to you like, I forgot my line. You say yours. <laughs> like, what? Bro, you just have forgot four minutes of dialogue. Oh. So no. how am I going to still feed to the audience what they need to hear? Da, 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 to the point where later on during the play, he did it again. And I said, for fuck's sake, live on stage. And I was just like, I said, I'm never going to let another human being yeah, affect me like that and affect my work like that on stage. Yeah. But um, yeah, definitely had that moment, bro. Well, no, that's... Huh? What was yours? We've a cast member as well. Whoa. Well, um, <laughs> <Good morning. laughs> few. He's like, few. Cast member wise, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I've been. <laughs> wow. That's how I felt. Yeah. <laughs> I don't You're replaying it like I don't say this guy's name. I don't know if it's good to say his name. But put it this way, okay, he was a big Hollywood actor, very lauded, an elder statesman. Elder statesman. And. Um, Man, that we all look up to. <laughs> yeah. I want to fucking name I, you. I want to so want to say, so want to say dude's name, man. You guys just like, but, dude, you better oh, fix man. this shit up. You, you know better fix yourself up. Okay, I just say the first name begins with M, and I'll say no more than that. So I'm playing, a, I'm playing a transit cop, and uh, in this scene, basically, it was actually two or two um, um, big, uh, you know, Hollywood actors, yeah. and I pay, I'm, I'm playing the transit cop. I'm in the other carriage, and I see these two characters. Basically, one's being held up, gunpoint and the other dude sitting down. So my whole thing is, I open up the door, go to the next carriage, there's everybody down on the floor now, move, move, move. So, um, and then what happens is, the, one of the, the 
characters. He throws a whole, whole lot of money in the air to create a distraction. So, you know, he's obviously his path is, is, is obviously it's messed up. So I'm running, I'm trying to get through, I'm trying to get through. So we shoot the, you know, the, the, the couple shots and then it gets to a single now on this particular character and uh, this actor. And um, so I'm here, AD's over here. Sorry, excuse me, AD's over here. I'm here waiting for him to go. Once I get the go away from him, I'm going straight in. So I'm there, there, there. Go! Everybody down on the floor now, move, move! All of a sudden, dude says to me, calm down, man. <laughs> Now, just to get, add, add context to this, add context to this. Prior, prior, I was introduced to dude, yeah? Oh, by so the DOP, lovely oh. man. And then I remember my man, you know, he introduced me to, to, to dude, the DOP. He goes, hey, you know, hey, Chucky, this is um, blah, blah, blah. You know, that goes, uh, he's from, uh, from London. And my man went, oh, yeah, I know that. Uh, he ain't gotta tell me, you ain't gotta tell me that. I'm gonna, I said, okay, um, well, I'm going to endeavor to convince you that I can play an American character. Please do that. I'm gonna... wow. No way. Wow. Okay, so already. Now I mean, you know, Matt says in my mouth already. Away. Right? That's why you go and sit in American accent until you're done, bro. What? Because sometimes. What are you thinking? I got the role already, different. man. You know, but yeah. once the camera rolls, I'm going to do what I need to do, right? Yeah. So, so now, fast forward to this moment now. Dude says, calm down, man. So I look at the AD. Am I going or not? Go. Everybody down on the floor now. Move, move, move. Da, 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 da. When the guy went cut, I just, I just, I went, I went, I went Mozart. Yeah. <laughs> said, I, went Mozart. I went Mozart. I, went I said, I went, <laughs> I goes, look, don't have a guy at me. Speak to the AD. Had nothing to do with me. I went by his, um, um, his, his um, execution, not me. Yeah. And I remember he looked at me like, like you don't can't talk to me like that. I looked at him like that. And he went over to the AD. Hey, AD, what, what, what was that all about? <laughs> <laughs> and I went like, no, man, I'm not having that. Don't question yeah, my profession. Playboy, no, like there's just no then. need for that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that was probably, and I ain't gonna lie to you, when I thought back in, I was like, oh my God, did I really do that? <laughs> After. But when you're in the moment, I'm like, no. Yeah, yeah, because you yeah, see, yeah. what happens is, you see, um, and, and I say this to anyone, I don't give a damn. Yeah. When I speak to you man to man, yeah. or man to woman, yeah, yeah. we're talking now. Yeah, I don't yeah. care about profile, I don't care about rep, reputation. I'm speaking to you as a person. And there is what we call, that's like my bedroom used to call it the, the, the kind of the righteous telling off. When you're righteous, it means hold off. Then it kind of skews <laughs> what kind of position or what clout you have, you know what I mean? And you feel like raw. You know what I'm saying? Because he could do it easily if he wanted to. He could have said a word with da da da. I don't want that working with that guy. He didn't say nothing. And we carried on and we rolled for the rest of the rest of the shoot. I think I've, I shot with him like two more days. So that probably was my. <laughs> it's good to ask you a Demand and respect in that moment. Uh, 100%, man. Are you sure man. we play a little game, right? Oh, oh James shit. called. He said, "Oh shit!" Oh. Nice, but it's not called that. It's not called. <laughs> oh, shit. It's, it's not called. Cool. Oh shit! Yeah. It's called and cut the bullshit. All right. So what we do. We ask you two questions. We ask you a question, and you've got to pick either or. If you want to be politically correct and say both, you take a shot. If you can't take the shot, we've got some hot wings for you that are really fucking hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's the drink or the hot wings, or you just be a man about it and just pick one or the other. Do you get me? All right. So that, this is how we're going to do it. It's going to run it. We're going to run it. We're going to run it. We'll ease you in with a little easy questions to start off. All right. So like, Menace to Society or Boys in the Hood? Boys in the Hood. Uh, Strictly Come Dancing or X Factor? Strictly Come Dancing. Come on, done, Nerd. Where did you, what place did you get in there, Strictly Come Dancing? I came quarterfinal. Jeez! Uh, yeah, young, what did you do? A young gun? A young point the toes in that, yeah? It was crazy. Oh, yeah, <laughs> point the toes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, I was giving them bare abs, though. I saw my topless, everyone, bro. I had to show. I had to rep for the people, then, you know what I mean? It was like, come D on, now. DM's popping, fam. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. Um, all right, let's get into this. Kano or Ashley Waters? Whoa, whoa. Damn, y'all really slapped me with that one, didn't <laughs> Answer the question, brother. <laughs> um, do you know what? Okay, put it, okay. I'm gonna answer it this way. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> K Kano definitely is a revelation, with no doubt. He's shown that with, with his work on uh, on Top Boy. Yeah. No doubt about that. I mean he surprised me. But for the body of work, yeah, and inspiring many a man from road who saw a man and said, you know what, I could do this. Ooh. It's gotta be Ashley Walters. It's got to be Ashley Walters. Ashley? 100%. Damson Idris or Daniel Kilua? 
Daniel Kaluuya, man, no doubt about that. It has to be, man. Mm -hmm. Us Academy Award winner. Come on. Do from the ends. He's repping for us and he's the first one to do it as well. As and Damson is definitely And Damson is a bad boy. Definitely and Damson, I know he's on his way. That's coming. We yeah, know yeah, that. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Mm -hmm. right. Ridiculous talent. Baba Tunde or Moda Comedian? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh god man, I'm sipping man. I'm he's sipping. not sipping. I'm sipping. How <laughs> <laughs> he's sipping, he's sipping. Baba Tunde and Mo, how he's sipping for you, man. Mm. Alright, cool. Jimmy Akimbola or Nicholas Pinnock? Oh man! <laughs> he's a, oh, what am I? Oh. Please, you have to say something, bro. <laughs> He's drinking again, you know. Yeah, I can't do no more. <laughs> I'm about to sit, man. I love both them cats. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I, I love both them cats, and they're both Ooh. very talented, brilliant actors. Mm. You getting us fucked up? <laughs> <laughs> John Boyega or Bashi? Wow. Mm. Mm. Whoa. Mm. Once again, I love both cats, but. John Boyega, man, has definitely tectonically shifted the game with what he had done. Another guy from the, from the ends, you know what I mean? Peck and Cat, just, uh, he had a dream. He realised it. I mean, the man's in Madame to Swords now. Is he in Madame to Swords? He's in Madame to Swords, fam. He's, He's got his own team. Yeah. 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 Bash, once again, like Damson, I know their time is coming on that level. I know that because of the grind and the graph they put in. So it's got to be John Boyega, man. Come on, last Just one me. from me anyway. <laughs> Sanchez Brown and Michael Salami. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to get a drink, drink? I, I, I got the drink, players. It's, it's a drink. It's a, it's a drink. You know that. Come on now. Oh, damn. Come on now. Come damn. on. Come on. Damn. Damn. Oh. You guys are bad. Man. I have to do that last I, one. I ain't I, I, I done with you. A banter. All right. Right. Idris Elba. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, shit. He's like, oh, shit. Or we go to David Ajala. Help me, please. Help me. <laughs> help me. David Ajala's my brother, man. And I love it. Dress is a good dude, man. Good Five, dude. Oh, God. Four. Man. Come on. Three. Two. Uh, oh, no, I need more time. I can't do man, that. Do the wing, do the wing, do the wing, do wing, bro. <laughs> okay, you know what? The only way I can weigh this. God. And I know David would not, <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't begrudge me for this. Once again, body of work, body of work. Yeah. Tectonically shifting the game. It's, it's got to be Idris, man. As much as I love David, and David, you know I love you, bro. Come on, man, you're my brother. <laughs> but I'm sure you can understand that. You know what I mean? And for them that don't know, man, watch Star Trek, Star Trek Discovery. Don't you know what I'm saying to you? David Smashing it, destroying it right now, just so you know. Denzel Washington or Sidney Poitier? That's a hell. Rude. That's actually rude. That's a hell. <laughs> hell well, I don't think either will take offense. <sighs> I mean, once again, they both have tectonically shifted the game, both of them. I know, so I ain't getting no buyouts in this one. <laughs> you ain't getting no buyouts of body of work in this one. Oh, man. I mean, Denzel, of course, is just his foundation is incredible. Yeah. But even deeper than his level of foundation is Sydney Poitier. There you go. Come on, man. It's Sydney. Sydney. No yeah? brainer. Yeah. No brainer. It's, it's unfortunate. Set the pace, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Without Sydney, you there would to, be no Denzel. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Without you, there wouldn't be us, my brother. Exactly. That's, 100%. That, that's 100%. 100%. Bro. 100%. God bless you, man. Last bless one for you. you. Casualty. Or EastEnders? <laughs> <laughs> Casualty or EastEnders? <laughs> what are you saying? Oh, <laughs> uh, you really went there, you know? Man, you trying yeah, to get... You trying, yeah. trying to get my ass... Who pays you more? Who pays you more? Right yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what are you saying? BBC? Yeah. Who uh, paid you more, bro? L Street, what are we saying? <laughs> Who's feeding the family more? Like, take those in consideration. Uh, what? <laughs> Yo, man. I take hey, Casualty, give me the checks right now. Um, <laughs> Do you know what? I ain't gonna lie to you, no. Like Real talk. Day, Easties, of course, once again. Well, it's really interesting because EastEnders and Casualty came out in the, se in the same year. Oh, the year, same year. I didn't know that. And, um, you know, if we're looking at it from, a, 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 from an effective standpoint, yeah. one that really, really touches the heart and, right. and, and, you know what I mean, affects the minds, if you will. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. touches on those the pertinent UK. subjects. Yeah. No doubt. Casualty, in my opinion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know, of course, these images more popular, but 
what it represents casualty you know for instance the covid episode that we you know we shot mm. you know which we won our bafta for you know what i mean how was that receiving that bafta yeah, bro incredible man i see the pictures of it listen mm. man that's two baftas in four years mm. come on now you know come, I mean? on, come, on, come on my guy come on come on oh, i'm gonna drink to that i'm gonna drink to that you know no that's dope also congratulations on the award nominations Oh, wow. Come on, thank that's, you. That, 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 award nominations, award you. nominations. Blessed, blessed. Come thank on, man. you very Clean much, it. Clean man. Again. Surreal, mm-hmm. surreal. <laughs> it. And then before we wrap Woo. it up, is there anything that you would like us to know, anything that you'd want to say or things that you want to drop or just talk about real quick yourself that we may not have covered? I mean, listen, I'm very blessed. I've been in, you know, in the game now professionally now for 21 years and um, you know, I'm counting. Like I said, the best is yet to come. Uh, I'm very appreciative of everything I've done thus far. And obviously to feel I've inspired, you know, the likes of you talented, you know what I mean, you know, beautiful human beings, man. Um, I'm really touched and honored by that and may that continue to be the case. You know, I can't argue for my career, but what I will say, what I do want to touch on right now, um, I think it's the first time I've actually spoken about it. It is the first time I'm speaking about it publicly, you know, um, and, and I will do, right by her and continue to make her proud is my late sister. My late sister, I you know I wanna honor her every, every chance, every moment I get. My, my, my beautiful, my beautiful um, little sister. She, uh, she died on the 9th of uh, June and um, unexpectedly, you know what I mean? And uh, you know, you know, it's still, still, we're still grieving, we're still feeling the pain now and like I said, I didn't think I was gonna say this, but yes, I wanna say this because I know she's watching. She's my biggest, I mean, she was my biggest, is still my biggest supporter. Yeah. You know, I wanna to know I love her and uh, you know, I will continue to do her proud. What's her name? Linda, Linda Venn. There we go, Linda, Linda Venn, man. Love you, love you. Love you, and on that, man, tribute this to her. Say no more now. Yeah, in love and memory to Linda Venn, man. Thank you for sharing Chucky. that with us. <coughs> we appreciate you for we coming through, so my much. bro, man. Yeah, man. We love you. You've inspired us. You've helped us along our way. Bless We've you. met you from the ground up till now. Seriously, you guys, like I said, you guys now, you know what I mean? And I'm, I'm, I'm getting on a little bit now, you know? You guys are, <laughs> you guys are going to be there. You guys are now the, the torchbearers, you know? Bless you. I'm mean, becoming the elder statesman. Who right now, like, would you say is only like your peers that you kind of like talk to a lot of in the industry or that? I don't know if you've looked up to or like just kind of helped you along the way quite a bit. There's a, there's a couple. There's um, um, Will Johnson is definitely yeah. one. Uh, Will Johnson. Will. You know what? Guy. Will actually played my father in my first ever short film. For real? Yeah. My dad, yeah, man. Like, and that guy, amazing. He's like, I had the pleasure of, you know, he played my older brother in, um, oh, in, wow. a, yeah, yeah. in a show on, on the Visa one called Moving On. Yeah. It's a true pleasure working with him, man. Wonderful actor. Um, you know what? Me and David, David Ajala, we go back and forth. We talk a lot. You yeah. know what I mean? You know, um, um, Judah Kudike, you know, for those that don't oh, know, gee, man, hell of a beast of an actor, man, you know what I mean? You know, someone I look up to very, very much so. There's a few, man, there's a few, yeah. you know? I'm still a student of the game and continue, I will continue to be. That's what's beautiful about acting, I think. You're always learning. Constantly. You have to, to the day and you Not die. only just from other, other peers, but even just from life and from other um, humans. Like, Listen, I learn, I'm learn from young ones, man. On the train, just watching other people. hundred like, percent. I've watched kids like, act. And yeah, I'm like, yeah, especially like kids, you bro. Oh, use yeah, that. The kids are yeah, just free. they're just so free. 100%. Kids are the in best actors. In the moment, yeah, they're the best That's actors. That's what I love about my son. Like, just, just, they're just in they're the moment. They commit to it. They commit to it. Nothing's fake. Nothing's no. Yeah, no, nothing's no pretentious. Agenda. It's just in it, and that's that's beautiful. So we always have to be, you know, students of the game, man. No matter what, no matter what is we do. You know? Come on. <laughs> but what is your culture? Niger, I'm Nigeria. You're not Nigeria. I'm Nigerian, Nigeria. man. You're fully Nigerian. I'm fully Niger. <laughs> Omo Niger. Ibo. 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 Uh-huh. Ibo. 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 Ibo.